everybody. Today I'm here with my favorite childhood friend, Pooh Bear. <coughs> oh no. <coughs> Stop burping. Thank you. Wait, you've been pranked? By who? Could it have been me? Um, yes. Hey, it was fun. Do you want to see how you've been pranked? Okay, let's take a look. On your back, behind your shirt, I have these two wires. And when the ends meet, you burp. Over here, you can see that the wires are connected to GPIO pins on the Raspberry Pi. And we have the speaker connected to the Raspberry Pi too, so that we can hear you burp. Now let's take a close look at where exactly these GPIO pins are. As you can see, we, can, we, have, we have ground over here, or the negative, and we have GPIO 3 here. And when these two wires meet, they complete the circuit and make you burp. <coughs> <laughs> now, why don't we take a look at the code for this? It'll be fun. It's time to take a look behind the scenes and solve the mystery of the burping Pooh Bear. Over here, I'm on Python in the Raspberry Pi desktop. And as you can see, I'm importing three modules. I'm importing button, Pi game, and sleep. We need Pi Game so that we can import the burping sound and our Pooh Bear can burp. We need Button so that, well, what Button does is when two ends of the wires meet each other, it completes the circuit, which is like a button being pressed. So we use this module so that when the two ends meet each other, the button is being pressed and our Pooh Bear will make the burping sound. And we need time so that we can actually hear our Pooh Bear burping and it's not just really quick. So over here in my while loop, I'm waiting till my Pooh Bear is being pressed. So that's like waiting for the two ends of the wire to meet each other. Then I'm playing the burping sound, waiting for a little bit so that you can hear it burp and then I'm stopping. Let's hear our Pooh Bear burp again and think about how it's going on. <coughs> this was a very fun project and I hope you can try it. Thanks for watching the video. Bye.